If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable, and make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I run Goal Line Normal. Now, there's really no special way to run it. However, if you're using escape artist quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray, you can make it even better. And I'm gonna show you guys how to glitch out the defense even worse using them. Because I do get comments, people knowing how to stop it. They say big nickel, we're gonna go over the big nickel and that it can stop it. I'm gonna show you guys that there's really not much in the game that can stop goal line normal. Or go, yeah, goal line normal, power O, and the other plays in this offense. Before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like, become a member. We just dropped the 4-3, even 6-1 full scheme. Advanced man defense is in the member section as well. The 3-3-5 wide, the 2-4-5 odd, the 3-3-5 Sam, all breakdowns, full breakdowns, tray wide flex, bunch offset, single back wing stack, other stuff in there, man. I'm telling you guys. And the YL Trips Pat is next. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to drop that one here in a couple of days. So stay tuned. For a low price, you're getting like hundreds of dollars. Like if you go somewhere else, you're going to pay like $20 just for one of the ebooks. You know what I'm saying? So become a member today if you want to elevate your game. Let's talk about this. So Go Line Normal using the Ravens makes it very OP. But I do like the Panthers because of the defense. You see where the ravens lack the panthers make up for and what i mean by that is with the ravens you can run a really good 335 wide using their linebackers because they got fast linebackers they got 89 speed linebackers with the panthers i have dbs that can play man defense and just press people because they're really fast so it's uh you know you pick what you want to do you want to run the meta zone the ravens might be a good choice for you because of the linebackers and they have some pretty good speed as far as uh averett westry those guys that are in the db part of uh the ravens however on the offensive side i got to give it to the ravens for you know the power behind it so you have power O, then you have regular pa power O, but you want to take sting off and you want to make sure you put the sprint halfback flat right here and then this one can be anything so whatever you want to put here i wouldn't recommend toss but i do recommend putting maybe dive in there so it looked like this in your audibles now for power O. Uh, I'll just run random big nickel. What I would recommend you guys do if you're facing something, let's just say big nickel is slowing you down. Like right here with the Panthers, with the Panthers, it won't slow it down as much as they would with the Ravens because the Panthers run it better. For some odd reason, I don't know why, but they run it better. But let's assume you're running against the big nickel and it's slowing you down. Like right here, it's it's not gonna slow us down. Now, obviously your opponent's gonna make adjustments they're gonna pinch the line you'll you see it in my gameplays when i'm facing people they try everything nothing really works to slow this run play down now where you can really make someone mad in big nickel is you can go ahead and you can flip the play once you come to the line flip the play okay if they don't flip their defense with you you can just run it to the left and really take advantage of the holes in the defense as i just ran right into a guy you can just take advantage of what they give you. So if they're not flipping their defense with you, and they have to, then you take it to the weak side. You see the weak box on the left side, and we just go that way. Bro, I keep running into my own people. That's just, that's something that I don't really do with McCaffrey because of his speed. See, that's the difference, the speed of McCaffrey. You can even just go left with your power O. But let me show you guys what, if I face someone running big nickel, how I'm gonna scare them. What I'll do is I'll come to the PA sprint halfback flat. All right, with this one right here, I'm gonna show you guys how to glitch out the defense. You're gonna put X on a streak. You're gonna put A and B on check and releases. So uh, you'll see it right here. A, right stick to the left for block and release cross, and you're gonna do that for both of them. So A and B both go to that. You'll get blues out of them. Now what's gonna happen is it's going to glitch out the defense. These guys are just gonna sit low waiting for something to happen with these guys. And they're on check and goes, okay? So I wanna, I wanna show you guys as you, as you watch this play unfold, and all I do here is I run around and they can't catch Lamar. This guy's so worried about why he doesn't matter. And that, and this is how I used to run it. You guys watch my gameplays. People, if you thought me running goal line power O was cheesy, this one is worse. So again, I don't know why it's not popping up my icons. Oh, okay, because we got an audible to the sprint halfback flat. Like this, okay? It's the same thing. Boom. In certain situations, it gets even more open. And with this setup right here, we're glitching out linebackers. 
The Blues don't recognize that it's a run play. They still backpedal. Let me show you what I mean. Because of what we did with the tight ends on the right side of the field, these guys just don't recognize that it's a run play and they won't recognize it as it's a run play for a while. Okay, so you see they're still worried about coverage as I've already gained 10 yards. Then they turn around and want to make a play. And I score a lot in the end zone with this play right here because they just don't know how to stop it. I usually use this one for uh, red zone for an easy. And then I just break it inside. And like I said, these guys... This is a very glitchy offensive play. Not a lot of people use. I don't see no one using it. And then you still have your power O. So you can still run power O at these guys uh, and get your yards that way. So big nickel overall is a good solid defense. But if you start flipping your play and you're running sprint out, they're going to have to contain. And when they start to contain is when everything just opens up for power O. So you'll come at me with, okay, well, I'll just contain that. When you open up contains, then you open up power O again, and then we just come right back for you. And I'm just going to take it for yards, okay? Now, that's just big nickel. If you watch my gameplays, people go through their whole entire playbooks trying to find something to slow the power O down. And right now, the Panthers, I think, run it be better than the Ravens. I don't know why, but they run it better. So we pick random play. You'll see that you'll see that the, the weak side of the offense is to the right, so we'll just keep the play stock. And then we just rely on the blocks. Now, block sheds do happen. People will slow you down. You will get that one where they do that. Uh, but right here, you can even switch to dive because it's three man. If someone, no one's really gonna run that on you. If I can get it unhung, this this is just this is oh, right there. You see what I'm saying? Like they don't react in time. They probably will get weak boxed, especially. But power O man, if you're facing defenses, you can flip it and then go to the other side or flip it back. Wherever the weak side is, you'll see that it looks weak to the right side, right? So I want to come to the right. And I score touchdowns. I score a lot of touchdowns with this run play, especially with McCaffrey because he can sprint out of the line really fast. He's not like this guy, okay? Murray's not fast. He doesn't jump out, right? And that's the drawback with, with the Ravens is that the power O from the Ravens is a lot better because McCaffrey can just jump out. And that's where I score a lot of my touchdowns. Uh, using him Murray on the other hand is a little bit slower so they have time to shed they can shed him and really make it hard for me uh, to run this now when I want to keep someone honest I'll come to the PA power O uh, and I'll just run a stock and typically once I got them to sell on the run if I can get this unhung again I usually just sell out over here to the to the RB route now like I said it just depends on what they're doing sometimes you'll have the RB route wide open sometimes you won't but I'll run this maybe once per drive just to let them know that, hey, I will pass it. Okay, I will come over here and I will actually pass it to my RB route. And typically, once I got them selling out on the run, there will be nobody in coverage as you see in my gameplays. And these guys will just be free on the side of the field. So you have different options. Sprint out is one of my favorite, especially in the red zone to score easy touchdowns. I can't even tell you guys how many times I've scored touchdowns with this play because look at everybody, bro. Now they got to catch me. You know what I mean? Now they got to go up the field and then you don't want to get hit. If you're using your quarterback, try not to get hit because it takes away from his stamina. You know, it depends on the field too, what you're playing in. Cause sometimes if you're winning the leverage, then you get where you don't lose stamina. What is that? Cardinals? Is it the Cardinal stadium? I can't remember offhand. It just, just so many things that you can do, man. It just makes your opponent. It makes people hate you, especially in the comments, man. People, like I said in the other video, people will go watch Bunch over and over in Twitch and be happy. And then people will come over here and see me run this. And you can't run 2-4-5 out on this. You can't run 3-3-5 three, three, wide on this. You can't do none of the meta stuff. You have to figure out a way to slow this down. And people just don't know how. They don't have Big Nickel in their playbooks because people tend to believe that Big Nickel is the move. However, I don't ever come across no one running Big Nickel because it's not in every playbook anymore. So um, use this to your advantage, man. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.